hello friends we would have heard of uh, amavasa which comes in every month okay it is a very special day same way the amavasa which comes in the tamil month of thai it is called as thai amavasya in tamil it is a still a very special day because we offer respect to our forefathers we offer them food and uh, we pray them okay so it is a very significant day which every one of us will know the another significance associated with this day is that it is a birthday of abhirami andadi the shlokas a very popular shlokas in tamil there is a temple called tirukadayur tirukadayur amrutagadeshwarar temple and the uh, deities here are amrutagadeshwarar and abhirami tirukadayur abhirami is very famous deity there was a man called subramanya who was a devotee ardent devotee of tirukadayur abhirami he was a priest there so he used to worship daily abhirami um, he always have a, a thought of abhirami throughout the day some people even criticize him as mad seeing his behavior and all but some know that he is a very ardent devotee of abhirami one day when he was uh, offering his worship in the uh, temple the king called sarabojit king the, these kings used to um, come and worship in the temple that day tanjavur kings so that day saraboji manna saraboji king came to worship tirukadayur abhirami um, uh, hearing of, hearing about subramanya the king wanted to actually know whether he is mad or he is really a devotee of abhirami so what he wanted he wanted to test him he went and asked subramanya whether today is what tidi whether today is pavrami or amavasya subramanya was actually worshiping goddess uh, abhirami in the form of light such a wonderful light was around abhirami that way he was in imagination he was uh, worshiping her in the form of light suddenly when the king came and asked this question he immediately responded not even knowing that the king was asking the question or whether he was right in answering that or anything else he immediately responded today is a pavrami tidi pavrami is what it is a full moon day actually it was a amavasya thai amavasya was that day it is a no moon day we all know that so the king got very angry he he ordered death punishment to subramanya if the moon doesn't appear at night only after the king giving all this um, death sentence and all subramanya came to life he understood what mistake he has made he actually didn't make any mistake he was just in um, he was just worshiping goddess abhirami in the form of light so he gave that reply as it was pavrami so he was uh, fire was lit everywhere and the entire village was gathered in the punishment area and this abhirami butter was also made tied in tied, tied there in front of him a huge fire was hit if he if the moon doesn't uh, lit if he if the moon doesn't appear in the night the king has ordered him to put him in fire so the entire village have gathered there to know whether the moon will appear or not abhirami butter started singing abhirami andadi on this day he started he almost completed 79 verses when goddess abhirami appeared before him the goddess threw her earrings called tadangam in tamil she threw her earrings over the sky towards the sky she threw it and it appeared as a full moon bright full moon appeared so everyone was very happy and abhirami butter was very happy because once he has called the goddess um, recognizing his faith she appeared and made the moon appear on that day so since she herself has appeared before him he he continued and sang another 21 songs on this abhirami andadi which totals to 100 songs actually this abhirami andadi means andadi in tamil means which means that one para or one poem the last word of the first paragraph will become the um, first word of the second paragraph that is called as Abhi- andadi so since this andadi was written praising lordus abhirami it was called as abhirami andadi 
after completing his 100 verses and when the moon came the king understood his mistake and he also understood that he was really a ardent devotee of subramanya was really a ardent devotee of goddess apirami he understood his mistake and relieved him of his death sentence and punishment death sentence and punishment he also became a devotee of abhirame bhattar so this incident or this uh, story tells us that abhirame andadi was written on this day tai amavasya day so in mostly in temples in tamil nadu you could see this abhirame andadi being chanted on this day because this was written on tai amavasya in tai amavasya in all temples you could listen these songs being sung okay friends we'll meet you with another good story next time until then bye bye